Ah. Yo, if you <laughs> if you have the ability to hear music, I don't think that Tom Petty is one of the greatest lyricists and writers of all time. I'm sorry. Recheck his schedule and itinerary. Anyways, yesterday I forewarned you that it would be Political Sunday. I deemed family and other things that were on my mind and plate, like the smell of something fresh baked, onion rings peel back the skin, and spend time with loved ones and kin. Anyways, this isn't a rap or rhyme session. This is a rant, a political rant, based off a Facebook status conversation I got involved in on June 2nd. Did I ever tell you this is like an audition for a movie role? I was challenged by someone to be named later to replicate a role of Jim as raining. Nah, I'm kidding. That was all bullshit. Anyways, welcome aboard, Kendra Pantalone, Jacqueline Seymour, who is so, I mean, like, She's so excited. I haven't, even, I haven't even heard her voice for more than a couple minutes, like live, person to person. I've heard many minutes of recordings. I like that. Can't wait to talk. She's so pumped. Like, and she's right down the street. Jacqueline, please stay tuned. I know you're, you're new to me and the process. Spend some time running through the videos at Team 14 YouTube. YouTube.com. Spend some time thinking of ways I can pitch my crowdfunding site for my GoCam. I need a GoCam. Anyways, where's that guy from? Who's that? Who's that? You can't even tell. Now, if I was a cop, I'd pull him over in a heartbeat, but I'm not a cop. I don't really run with them, but I do support their efforts on keeping the peace and protecting our families and friends and loved ones. Doesn't mean that I, you know, I call them up and say, hey, you know what I just saw? No, I don't do that. You know what I just saw, though? Okay, I have no clue what the fucking plate is. Excuse my language. That's questionable to me. Pulling you over. I'll take the plate bracket off myself. I have a tool. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the police officer talking. Political rants. Yes, Facebook conversation. I digress and come back to that as Tom Petty plays in the background for me. Not you. Uh... I should start with where, what am I talking about? Well, there's a Facebook status that referred to white folks who do not support Obama being considered racist. I have to assume that that statement was made, my perception, my statement was, that the statement was made, my perception, fairly accurately, I must say, is the statement was made by a very proud white American that I'm proud to say is my associate in some way, shape, or form. Definitely had a slice of pizza with the gentleman in the past. But he says, you know, he says that, so obviously it must be those of other races that I hadn't heard that. I hadn't heard that. I was raised, and I think we all were, or at least I hope we all were, white, black, Chinese. If you were American and believe in the United States and love thy country and thy flag and would do basically anything to protect it, that doesn't always necessarily mean physical. Sort of like return on investment doesn't always mean actual cash dollars. Not everything's tied to dollars. Cash rules everything around me. As in Fat Joe's song. Dribble, dribble, shoot, swish. But our forefathers, forefathers, those who decided to put some type of rule system in place as to not ever have one person at the time it was one man. Unfortunately, ladies, you had no rights besides that to which marry. 
to a man in hopes that you marry the right man who can show you the life of whatever it is your parents and your family previously wish they had in their dreams. So that man, whoever that man was, provided that. Yada yada. But our forefathers wrote the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Have you ever been to the National Constitution Convention Museum and Center in Philly? I have. If you haven't, go. Did you know there's an election in Massachusetts on June 25th? Or do you only know what color Whitey Bulger wears daily? Do you only know that Gene Levanchi said this morning on June 3rd, 2013? I have no clue, but I think it's like 21 months after said Bulger was captive. Captive. Captured. Or ratted out, as they may say. It's been like 21 months. You realize every single day there's been a Whitey Bulger something or other? Well, guess what? You know what Gene Levanchi says this morning? And I love Gene Levanchi. In fact, because of things that he's said in the past, in places he's been, and people he's talked to, I would actually run up to him if it was available and, like, give him a huge hug. Like, I, I'm the guy that's going to yell, Gene, from, like, way far away, because I love Gene Levanchi. Hi, Gene, Fox 25. But this morning, he says, and it's not his fault, because he doesn't write all of the things that he reads or reports to you. It's not his fault. You know what he said this morning? It's about to get to be whitey all day, every day. Gene, I know when you go off air, you're going to say to yourself, or maybe you can say to Maria, Maria, why the F did I say that? Who, where's that writer? We've been reporting Whitey Bulger every day since... I'm off. I'm off on a tangent. I was talking about the government. In perception. So one man does not run a country. There was valid points in this Facebook conversation that said that type of thing. Correct. One man does not run a country. But he is not a puppet. For if he is a puppet, then we are the fools who let the marionette dictate the show who could have voted in the people who control the strings. I like to control the strings. So do you. I like to promote the strings. I like to enunciate the strings when those accents are needed. But anyways, it's a proven fact that in order to be successful, you must surround yourself with successful people and continually seek out challenges to that of which you know to be fact and or practice process. I just made that up. I don't know if anybody ever said that. It sounded good, and it's fact. At least in my mind, of the Golden Rule. I hope this is as long as you think it should be. But I can tell you one thing. Let's reference back to this and that. Just for a moment. Uh, Flynn's, by the way, right here. The camera perspective always messes me up. I think it's not there, it's there. Flint's, great place to get gasoline. If you're in the borough area, South Borough, West Borough, North Borough, Worcester, Auburn, you see a Flint's and you pull in there, you're good, bathroom's clean, friendly people. If there isn't, report it to me, I'll take care of it. Peterson's, another great petroleum transfer distribution center. They deal in huge commercial volumes and have open to the public gas stations. But guess what? I can go in there once a day for an hour and see people frustratedly leave because their full service service is too slow at 15 cents a gallon less than stations that you can just pull up and not see a human. So June 25th, Fuck Whitey Bulger. June 25th. Did I mention my last name's Giuliano? And I'm American. And I plan on success. And I'm not talking white picket fences. I plan on success to the extent of... So did others who chose the wrong paths of darkness. 
where the young Jedi Knight fell onto that voice of respiration. <sighs> June 25th. What's that day? Who's running that day? What do you know about the two gentlemen running against each other in that election? Ask yourself this. Ask yourself, what action do I need to take on June 3rd in order for me to vote June 25th so I can stop making excuses about what Bush did? It's seven years later. What are we doing seven years from now? Has the administration told us that? Oh, back to my grandfather and what he taught me. Brett, you know, I really don't like this XYZ president, but I can tell you this, Brett. You'll never hear me in conversation. There was no Facebook then, it was the 70s. You'll never hear me in conversation badmouth the president of the United States because he is the elected leader of the country we live in that I came here by way of my great, my grand, my, my that. Burp. Boop. I came here by way of my father, who traveled on a boat six or seven seats away from his soon-to-be wife 12 years later in the town of Watertown, Massachusetts that I'm damn proud to be from. Yeah. The WAP. Luigi. The WAP Luigi Giuliano, spelled G-I-U-L-I-A-N-O, who is freaking rip shit at the government of Mussolini and whoever else. Uh, he, Mussolini was not Mussolini yet. He was Mussolini, just not the Mussolini that you know yet. He was pretty pissed at him. Change his name to J-U-L-I-A-N-O. There's no J's in the Italian language. And that was not a mistake by some former immigrant standing at Staten Island. That was an enunciation and a stand-up soapbox situation. So my grandfather taught me. Not my great-grandfather, that was Luigi. Did I lose you yet? Summer Street in Watertown. Chickens whine every day out for a walk. The guy walked like three miles a day until he was like 91. Luigi. Anyways, my grandfather says, never bad about the president. Do I think President Obama's time in office has sucked? Yes. Yes. I do. Do I think it's anybody's fault? No. I don't. You have to really dig deep into the golden rule and into elected officialdom. I actually, yeah, I held elected office. And I actually have done some very bad things and God got even. And I'm okay with that. I haven't done not that I know a bad thing in a long, long time. Not that, not that it couldn't be amended or rectified with conversation of meaning. I yielded, sorry. So, don't badmouth the president. And don't gas him up either. And if you don't vote, or if you've never voted, or if you don't intend to vote, or if you say F the IRS, or if you say... I don't have to work, even though I actually could. Then I have no mercy for the pity on your soul that St. Peter may show you, or at least if you are akin to Catlock's sister and myself. Is the be uh, Peter's in here. All right, it's about Peter's. There it is. 345. How much did you pay? Oh, you get out of the rain and pumped? Wait, you couldn't wait seven minutes to get a tank of gas? Seven minutes. Where'd you need to be? If you're running late, why didn't you already get gas before? Use the small businesses around you, folks. Please. And talk about them in a favorable way. And if you've got nothing good to say, go vote. Gabriel Gomez is running against... Ed Markey, the American flag is a little soggy today. You know, I remember the days when uh, the flag guy, when he knew he or she knew rain was coming, they would actually go out and retrieve the flag and take it down. Imagine if we still had that respect. 
imagine if we still had that respect. Imagine if John Lennon didn't get shot by some asshole. <laughs> I don't know. I do know this. The day I started Facebook was not the day that I entered a quote in the quote section of my Facebook profile that's available to the world. Everybody's gonna know what you're doing. Well, if you hold public office, you have to actually publish publish your street address and best contact phone number, so I'm all set with public privacy. Check me out, kid. Whatever. Got the throwaway, throwaway polo. Team 14 Chronicles on June 3rd. Brett Giuliano. Thank you so much for the support the Project Run Again. For the folks who have actually taken the time to read, ask questions, call me on the phone, 617-319-8563. Thank you. So the point I guess I was trying to make is there's a... Man, I'm blessed. I, I just, I, when I go to speak, I think about all the people I've had to... I've had the opportunity to sit across from it, desks and cafe tables and stand across on a red line platform outbound and inbound and say hey, 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 Vin and have a bullet pointed conversation that nobody else actually knows, has any clue what we're talking about and getting stuff done, like golfing anyways what I was saying was Facebook page since you have no time because anytime I ask somebody if they've watched something that says they will, will do, I will do. I'll do that. Most of the time, is the response is, I don't have enough time. Give me some math. Take 41, times it by 365, times it by 24, Times it by 60. Times it by 60. It's the number of seconds that I've been alive on this earth. Thanks, Mom. July 28. Thanks, Mom. Boom! One of my bestest clients right there. Dex Plus, right on Route 9, eastbound. The gentleman has phenomenal. Yeah, just ask for Dan. Tell Dan that Brett said that you're one of his bestest clients. I know it's raining, but man, he's got gazebo. In fact, it's raining. He's got gazebos, so on and so forth. Check out his website. He's been in business for 18 years, right there at Route 9. Straight, straight shooter. Honest. Deliver it. Get it done right. Take no, take no excuses from any of his, anybody. And his clients are utterly satisfied day in and day out. I'm glad to work with him. So what I was saying was, Facebook. Go to me here at Facebook and read what I have in the quote field. Now, there was two quotes there before, but the quote that remains... No, wait, maybe there's two quotes there now. And there used to be three. They've never changed. And they never will. Because your mans don't change. That's what Machine Gun Kelly said. So if you thought I was a pretty good spirit, but yet yeah, maybe I caused a little bit of trouble when I was 17. But you said to yourself, man, he's a good kid. I'm still that good kid. I know I am. I don't give a shit if I'm telling you right now. You want to call me conceited? Nah. Mark Sanchez might be considered conceited. And I'm a Jets fan. Anyways, have a peaceful day and go vote June 25th. And if you have any additional questions about what it means to vote for the government that supports the puppet, then call me, 617-319-8563, I'll be glad to assist in any way I can, share the knowledge that I have obtained through life, by the things I've seen and heard, and we'll go from there, love you fam, peace!